Hello everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are going to take a look at how you can add um, an extension to Google Chrome for blocking ads. Now, we all know um, sometimes ads are very uh, annoying. So we are going to take a look on how to uh, not only block the ads that you see on a web page while browsing, but also maybe YouTube ads and other pop-ups that appear when you are browsing the web. Um, before we jump into the video, a quick word from uh, our sponsor today, CloudSwap, a service that can help you move um, your files from one cloud provider to another. So uh, let's um, have that section and after that we can continue with the video. And today's video is sponsored by CloudSwap. CloudSwap is an online service tool that can help you transfer files from one cloud provider to another. For example, if you have um, your files hosted on OneDrive and you wish to switch to Google Drive, that's no problem. It's all done in three easy steps. You need to select the folders and files that you wish to transfer and then choose the destination where you want them to be copied. And that's it. You simply click start and then your files will be copied to the new cloud provider. Uh, for more information, please check the link in the description below and uh, register for free and start uh, migrating your transferring your files. Okay, let's get started. So first of all, what you want to do is open Google Chrome. And actually there are two ways of doing this. One, if you have this um, page, first page that you see when you load Google Chrome, what you want to do is click on extensions here and this will open uh, Google Chrome Web Store. Uh, one other, um, one uh, another another option is to just go ahead and, and Google um, Google extensions, for example, or Google Web Store, and you want to click on the first link that appears in the search results. Now, uh, usually what I do is uh, I'll search the the store, the extension store for something simple that I want to, to achieve. In this case, we want the ads to be blocked. So let's go ahead and search ad blocker. There you go. We also have some suggestions here. And of course, um, the, the web store will show you like the first three best uh, or three options, depending on, uh, on what the algorithm thinks for this keyword. Um, what I want you to do is go ahead and click more extensions and this will show everything that matches this keyword that we just searched. And of course you have a ton of options here and that's good because you, you have from where to, where to choose, right? Uh, what you can do is uh, you can look at the rating here. Uh, for example, this one has like a 4.3 4 out of 5 stars and almost 198,000 users are using this extension. And also what you can do is just click on it and maybe go over the, the reviews that people post um, as feedback on how the extension is working for them. Now, for the sake of this video, the, the extension that I always go back to in terms of, um, let me search back at Blocker, uh, when I try to have an extension that blocks the ads, it's the one from, let me search here, the, this one, Ad Block Plus. This is my go-to extensions for all browsers on, uh, if I want to, to, to add, to, sorry, to block pop-ups or uh, YouTube uh, ads and so on. Actually, you see here, blocks YouTube ads, pop-ups and fight malware. And you, if you can look, uh, there are almost 10 million users using this, more than 10 million users uh, using this uh, extension and with an amazing 4 out of 4 out of 4.4 4 out of 5 stars rating from 1,000, uh, shy under 1, 175,000 users. Amazing uh, rating for this uh, uh, extension. Cool. And very simple to add. Just click on add to Chrome button and you will see um, a pop-up showing in just a second. Mm 
there you go and of course you get the, the the notification this extension can read change all of your data on the websites that you visit and that's normal in order for the extension to to block those those ads um they must um crawl the, the page and see what is good content then um and what is uh, an ad all right so i'm gonna go ahead and agree to this and add extension to the browser We're gonna have a little check and there you go we saw that for a second a pop-up on the right um, right the top of the right hand side and of course you have the the option to uh, donate for the developer uh, to just keep maintaining this great extension now the extension is installed but if you don't see it in the in the toolbar what you want to do is click on this little puzzle piece here and there you go you have it right here you can also pin it and then you have it permanently and when you will uh, when will you when you go to a, a website for example let's go to cnn.com nothing to nothing against cnn just uh, a site that everybody knows you will see here um, the numbers of the number of ads that uh, ad blocker plus uh, blocked. And if you click on it, it will show you that hey, on this page we blocked four items. So there you go. Um, one more thing: if you want, for example, you have some some websites that have this un this anti ad blocker restrictions and if you really want to to visit uh, that specific website you can whitelist uh, the website and uh, this extension will not check it so if you want to do that you just go ahead and toggle this and i'm gonna refresh cnn and there you go now the um, the extensions the extension is not blocking anything on the page and you can watch the um, the website with all the pop-ups and um, and ads on it and if you want to re-enable it just toggle this again refresh the page and you're good to go cool oh hopefully this was um useful for you uh if you like this uh, content with uh, small tips and tricks on uh uh, Windows computers, um, Mac OS um, laptops and devices, or uh, anything related to, to IT, please make sure you give me a thumbs up. Um, this really helps the channel grow and make sure you, you, you to subscribe and talk to you in the next one. Thank you, everyone. Bye.